Hello and welcome to SRPS Carriage and Wagon Works. Today I'm with Andrew Fowler and we're catching up on the developments of the Grizzly TK. So over to Andrew to, to, to tell you some more about what's been happening. Thanks Cliff. So as you can see behind us, we've got the uh, Grizzly TK which was built I think in 1924. Um, so this is now nearly 100 years old and is currently going through one of the most comprehensive rebuilds we have seen of a wooden body coach at Bowness. So all of the panelling here that you can see and all of the windows are new. Um, currently it's just been refitted to the frame so they're putting um, new beading on as you can see here which runs across the panels and helps to keep the main panels which can be up to 18 inches wide stuck in place and structurally rigid and um, it's just had its first coat of varnish which again you can see here it will be due up to another 10 coats um, and also it will be lined out and there'll be transfers going on for the lettering and the numbers. So quite impressive work. All of the glass is new safety toughened glass and as you can see the underframe here has just been painted into undercoat ahead of going into the LNER brown scheme that it will be in eventually. Good. And I believe they're pre preparing now for the winter. I think the next stage they're going to be doing is fitting the windows into the other side of the coach so that we can get some heat into it. And so we're going to have a look at the progress on the other side now. Okay, so we're here on the south side of the coach now, which isn't quite as far progressed as the north is. So here you can see the teak panelling without any of the beading on. So you can see the 18 inch bottom panels and the 14 inch higher up panel here. And then the beading which goes on to cover the join and again just add some structural strength to the panels. You can also see here we've put in a brand new toughened um, glass window. Um, which you can barely see there's a window there um, and in place here the doors have been rebuilt and we're looking forward to putting um, the drop lights in and finishing the rebuild. So I'm now standing inside the coach and as you can see here um, our volunteers have been really busy replacing the teak panelling on the inside of the corridor which allows you to walk past the compartments to each end of the coach. Now there's a bit of an interesting story to where this teak has come from. One of our volunteers' wife was on the local council committee for a school that was getting demolished and we were able to recover um, three inch thick teak stair treads from this which have allowed us to replace all of the panelling because teak itself is actually a very very difficult wood to get a hold of now. We were lucky that we were able to purchase about seven or eight years ago the larger panels for the outside of the coach which came from Germany. I mean if we were to try and get this again today we might not be able to and it's one of our great considerations of how we will continue to restore further aggressive coaches after this one is where we get the teak to do them. Um, so this is inside what will be an eight person compartment eventually of its third class and as you can see we've gone to great lengths to recreate the LNER original design. So these were brackets were cast funded by a grant um, for the luggage rails at the top and our volunteers have reconstructed the original teak um, picture frames and found appropriate images to go with them as well. This is LNER Gresley Buffy car number 644 built in 1937 and this is the finish we aim to achieve with the Gresley TK. You can see the lining and the transfers there under the layers of varnish. Next we have our LNER Thompson 3rd Class Tourist Open Coach built in 1947. This is a metal body with a painted or scumbled teak effect. Panning round we can see some LMS coaches and our North British Railway Invalid Saloon number 461 built in 1919. Lovingly restored, we hope to have this in service in the future. You can see the lovely effect with the varnish. Next up, our Caledonian Railway third class cord compartment coach number 1375, built in 1921. This was repainted in 1998. It's been in the custodianship of the SRPS for a long time. It served on the rail tours in the early 70s, you would see it going round. There's some lovely shots of the Cali 123 that's in the Glasgow Museum just now. We've also got a Caledonian Railway Brake Corridor Composite Coach number 464, built in 1923. And at the very end of the line we've got another BR LNER Thompson Design Brake Composite Coach built in 1951. Another steel bodied coach with a fake teak effect painted on. Okay. 
Lastly, I'm outside what was a Grangemouth department train brake van, which originally started life is like this to you, a Gresley third corridor brake. In the longer term, we'd like to restore this as to match our Gresley Boothby and our Gresley third corridor. It'll depend on funding and volunteer progress. If you would like to help us with either, please get in touch. So I'm now standing in the gangway of this Gresley coach, um, which as you can see, there are a few bits missing here. So we're missing the rubber gangway bellies and the steel gangway plate that sit here and allow our passengers to walk between the coaches on the train. Um, just to say as an ending to this video, thank you very much to those of you that have donated to our project already. It's made, as you can see, fabulous progress on this nearly 100 year old coach. And with your help, we hope to have it back in service in time for its 100th birthday, or well in advance of its 100th birthday in 2024.